What's up guys? Welcome back to another Diabetic Food Review. And in case you're new to this channel or you just don't know, my name is Jason. I'm type 1 diabetic and I really, really love food. And that's not a good mix. So ever since I started this channel, I wanted to do a video on Japanese candy. And my plan was to go online through one of those subscription box services that, that delivers you know, Japanese candy to your house of all different types to try. But I didn't know which one to choose. Some came with like extra Japanese toys and stuff like that. And I just wanted the candy. Luckily, I went to my local FYE and they had a partnership with Japan Crate. So I just went ahead and bought that. But uh, let's see, it says, it says here, Japan Crate has partnered with FYE to offer an exclusive crate full of the best Japanese candy, snacks, and drinks you can only find in Japan. And inside you'll find 50 items, including crazy Japanese candy, a drink, DIY kit and a collectible bonus item, $10 gift voucher towards future Japan crates, and a booklet insert that includes product description, fun facts, and more. Yippee skippy. Alright, so let's just get into this. Alright, and I'm not sure how I'm going to show this to you, but here's the box of candy. Look at that. Looks delicious. Um, here's the gift voucher. If Anybody wants to use the code? Because I'm probably not going to use it again. So there you go. Let's go. I'm guessing this is the uh, booklet that provides the candy descriptions and stuff like that. Yep. Ooh, it says here, bonus item is a squishy seal. Which I'm guessing is this thing right here. All right, let's see. First on is the Sour Long Gum Mini Cola. Experience the shake, pop, and fizzle of a cola drink in this long cola chewing gum. It's extra chewy and stays sweet for a long time so you can enjoy the cola flavor. Maybe I should try that last sentence. This is gum. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. Okay, what's next? Chocolate waffle. This buttery waffle wafer dipped in chocolate is a perfect sweet treat. I don't see a chocolate. Oh, here it is. Chocolate waffle. All right, let's, let's try it. Okay, how many carbs? That's only four grams of sugar. I won't die. It smells good. It's good. It's not as sweet as I was expecting it to be. Like I was expecting like a really sweet treat. I mean, but it's not bad. Actually, you know what it tastes like? Those little keyboard elf cookies with the uh, fudge dipped in them on, on the bottom and then the fudge stripes on top. That's basically what this is. All right, one down, 14 more to go. What's next? Uh, Pandoro, Pandoro, Melon Pan. Pandoro. Oh, it's a panda, so yeah, Pandoro. This adorable panda-shaped cookie is rich with a delicious melony taste. A nice snack to complement an afternoon tea. The Pandoro, Pandoro? Yep, yeah, Pandoro, Pandoro, I don't know. All right, let's see. Total sugar, zero, zero grams of sugar. All right. And it says it tastes, it's just like melon, but what kind of melon? Here we go. Panda head shaped cookie, very kawaii. Ooh, smells good. Oddly enough, you, you know the, oddly enough, it smells like cucumber melon the body wash. I mean, it smells good. I'm just kind of, it's just kind of weird. It actually is really good. The fact that they managed to make a sweet tasting cookie with zero sugar, that's pretty cool. The Niricho Soft Ice Cream Strawberry. With this DIY kit, you'll be able to make soft serve ice cream in a unique foamy candy form. It even comes with waffle cones to serve your handmade ice cream. Wait, actual ice cream? The Niricho Soft Ice Cream Strawberry. Here are the wafer cones. <laughs> that's weird. And what is this? Some sort of crystals. I don't know what I'm supposed to do with these. And uh, that's it. Oh. Okay. It's supposed to put crystals in a mixture of water. Stir it up and then put it in the... Okay, I'm going to save this for later. Next is corn scones. 
These scones or corn curls pack a deep flavor of rich creamy cheese in every bite. Crisp and savory, you'll definitely go through the whole bag in one sitting. I do love a good cheese snack. I love cheeses. Cheetos and basically any, almost any cheese snack is pretty good. They don't smell very cheesy though. Uh, they basically look like Cheetos. Yeah, it's cheese tasting. I wouldn't say it's a creamy cheese taste. It's very light on the cream. Honestly, I taste more of the corn puff than I do the cheese. These are just okay. I don't know if I'd go back with these. I mean, the bags, I mean, the, the little info said that I would definitely eat the whole bag and not leave any left, but I don't know. We'll see. Pansuke. A rare rice plus are a traditional Japanese snack, and they have been around for decades. Savory and sweet with the flavor of soy sauce and nori, you're sure to enjoy this old school treat. Gotta be these. Pansuke. Pansuke? Pansuke. Well, there's pawn right there on the bag. Here's what one of these things look like. Okay, um, I don't really taste the soy sauce and nori flavor. Honestly, this tastes like Cracker Jacks, but without the caramel. Next, we have che Cheetos. Enjoy this Japanese take on an American classic. Take, or sorry, these Cheetos pack a powerful cheesy punch with every crunch. So I guess this is just Cheetos, but with extra cheese flavoring. Japanese Cheetos. Yeah, this definitely has a more cheesy taste to it. Huh. But it's also a little bit... It has a slight sweet taste to it, too. Kind of odd. Just like most everything else, except for that panda cookie that I tried. Just okay. I'd probably stick with the classic American Cheetos, but that's not a bad substitute, though. Jinbis Edamame Biscuits? I don't know if I'm saying that right or not. Probably not. These crunchy non-fried edamame biscuits, edamame biscuits are sure to keep your savory cravings satisfied and your body energized. I'm not sure what a edamame biscuit is, but about to find out. Honestly, these look like peas. <laughs> it's definitely got like a veggie taste to it. Like kind of like those veggie chips, but it's very light tasting. Honestly, this snack's just more about crunch than anything else. It's, it's really crunchy. It's just okay. Nothing special. A Watama Black? A Watama Black. A Watama Black literally means bubble ball black. Quite, om quite ominous for innocent black cherry candy drop. Hmm. I'm kind of scared to try this. That does sound ominous. Huh? Here we go. That's actually really good. Honestly. You know those bottle cap candy sodas? It tastes like the cherry version of one of those, which makes sense because it, it listed it as a cherry flavored you know, candy ball. That was good, actually. That, that, that might be my favorite thing so far. Up next, we got the Yumaibo Satori Choco. Yumaibo is bringing you your favorite puffed corn snack, but now in delectable moist chocolate bites. Okay. So these are. All right, here we go. I'm surprised at how light and airy it was. These are my second favorite so far. Triangular cracker or vegetable. Kids never like their vegetables, but we are sure that if we had these as kids, we'd eat way more of our broccoli and carrots. Delicious vegetable crackers will have kids and adults alike waiting more. I'm sorry, wanting more. I can't read. These. Oh. Alright, let's get cracking. It's like mini Doritos. I don't really taste anything in them that reminds me of any vegetables. They just taste like herb crackers, but really. Not bad. I can see me I can see myself eating these again too. Texas corn. Texas corn chips are actually crispy puffballs flavored with okonomiyaki sauce. White, fluffy, and savory. Texas corn. Oh, yeah, here's what it looks like. Not sure how to describe the taste, though. 
it's not a bad taste, but it says it's flavored with konomiyaki sauce. I'm not sure what that is. I don't know if I ever had it before. I don't recognize this taste, so probably not. Chi beans. It's another edamame treat, like those biscuits that I had earlier. Those biscuits. These edamame crisps make for the perfect snack without making you feel guilty. Munch on one of these for a healthier and delicious alternative to chips. Chi beans. Well, they're green, just like those edamame, edamame biscuits that I had before. So yeah, just like the edamame biscuits, they have the same taste as those uh, vegetable chips that you might find in some stores. But I can taste it a lot more than this. Again, not bad, but I don't know if I'd go back to these. Next, we have the Melon Ramoon. It's a soft drink, actually. Ramoon is a classic Japanese soft drink. Each bottle is sealed with a marble that, when pressed down, release and opens the drink. This version tastes like refreshing melons. Okay, do I do this thing? <laughs> yep, that did it. Again, just like that panda cookie, smells like cucumber melon body wash. Let's see how it tastes. Not bad. The uh, cucumber melon taste is definitely lighter in the drink than it was in that panda cookie. Kind of cute, kind of funny how the how this marble is what's causing the carbonation in the drink. Yeah, it's okay. I probably wouldn't go back to this, but then again, that's kind of like a, most everything else in this box. All right, I got one more thing to do. That's the Sour Long Gum Mini Cola that I talked about at the beginning of this video, but I wanted to save it since it's gum. I didn't want to just chew it and then spit it right back out. Ooh, I barely just tore this open. I can, it smells like cola. It smells like those soda bottle cap candy things. Looks like a churro though. All right, let's do this. Again, it doesn't taste like cola. It tastes like the cola bottle cap candies. Which again, isn't bad, but I think I'd actually rather much more have a, uh, something that tastes like, you know, just Coca-Cola than candy cola. Apparently the Japanese though, when they make candy, even sweet stuff, they don't use a lot of sugar. Like, there's the sugar in a lot of this stuff, but it's, but it's all marked as zero gram. Which granted, it can't be actually zero sugar if there's one of the ingredients is sugar. There's probably less than a gram of sugar. But still, I mean, like, even like the, this really sweet cola gum, less than a gram of sugar. It's kind of insane, actually. It's noticeable in some of the other stuff that's, while, while it's sweet, it's not really sweet, it's like lightly sweet. So it kind of makes sense, but the stuff like the chocolate, things that I like, it's zero grams of sugar, or less than a gram. But it's actually, it tastes really sweet, which is kind of surprising. But yeah, so far my favorite things were the Awadama Black Cherry Flavored Ball, and these chocolates. Oh! There's something I forgot to do. The strawberry candy thing. Okay. Let's do this. On well, packaging it says to pour the crystals into the little container that it comes in. So let's do that. That actually kind of reminds me of a ramen noodle packet. Strawberry crystals. It says to add water. I'm sure it says how much, but I can't read Japanese, so... I'm just gonna pour a little, little bit of water in here. I think I did too much. Take the tiny spoon and just mix it around. It's starting to turn into this, like, almost white like gel. Just try to drill by itself. Okay, it's not fully mixed. There's still some crystals in there. So it's not really a gel, it's more of a foam now. Let's get a mini cone and just scoop this stuff in there. The taste of the foam itself is, it says strawberry, but I really don't, I'm not really sure if that's what it is. I don't know. Doesn't taste like strawberry to me, but here you go. Ice cream. The waffle cone part of the candy has some weird aftertaste to it. But the foam ice cream, it's not bad. Honestly, anybody that buys this candy isn't buying it for taste. They're buying it just for the novelty fun of making your own mini ice cream. The mini spoon in a mini waffle cone. Because taste-wise, eh, just okay. There you go, that's all the candy and soda that came in the box. Again, most of it was just okay. I probably wouldn't go back for myself. But the two, uh, the, the chocolate snack and the cherry ball, they were actually really good. But we're not done. They gave me a bonus item that I referred to earlier. 
So like, we're throwing in this adorable little bonus item in your crate. It's a squishy little seal that you can squeeze and bounce around all you want. And it's this little guy. Oh, wow. I actually like the feeling of this. This would be like a good stress reliever, actually. It's a weird looking seal, though. Let's do this thing. It's missing part of his body. That's sad. You squeeze it, bounce it. All sorts of kawaii fun. But we have even more. On the back, they have three different Japanese phrases that you, that you can learn. First one being, I taio? I want to meet slash see you. Again, I'm probably saying this wrong, so don't take my pronunciation and go to Japan and start using it. Uh, futari de, futari de, futari de, I ko? I ko? Let's go together. And ishao ni etai, which means I want to spend time with you. So, there you go, we just learned a bit of Japanese. How fun. Uh, anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, let me know in the comments down below, have you tried any or all of these candies and what you thought of them? Which one's your favorite? Which one's your least favorite? Did you not like any of them? Like the video, subscribe if you want to, and I'll see you in the next one.